What, 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 I don't have the time to teach you while I'm there. So I'm going to put these tutorials on my website for as long as I can until uh, you know, anybody steps in and says, hey, you can't do that. So let's get started. I am going to make a basic start-stop circuit. I made a little HMI here. So this little motor, you see the lines. And it seems like the rotor is turning because the lines are moving up and down. So when you stop the button, the lines stop. When you start button, the lines will move again, simulating a motor and any application. Let's think of it as a conveyor in this instance, hydraulic pump, whatever. So we're going to make a basic start-stop circuit just to cover XICs, XIOs, and OTEs. So I got a little program here that has nothing in it. We're going to start from scratch. So we're going to make a basic start-stop circuit just like you would see it on any ladder diagram anywhere. So, as you can see, we are going to grab what we want from up here. This is an XIC, examine if closed. Basically, it's a normally open contact. So, if you were looking at a ladder diagram, that would be a normally open contact in a ladder diagram. So, in a normal start-stop circuit, you have the start button, which is going to be this guy. I already have them pre-named here. You're going to have your start button. We're going to say new. Where you can call this whatever you want to call it. If it was if it was attached to an actual input, you would alias it to that input. And we'll go over that at another time. So we want to make sure it's a global tag. So that means that it's it's accessible from the whole program. Everything in the program can access this tag. If I was to make it a main program tag. And the only programs are the only yeah the only programs that could access it would be in the main program and that's it. So we want to make it a global tag so the whole program can see it. So we're going to create that. Bam! Our first XIC is there. So what happens after the start button or before? We're going to have to have a stop button, an XIO, so normally closed contact, and we're going to name that guy push button stop. And again, we're going to say we want a new tag because it's not there yet. And we want to make sure it's global. And it's not alias. This is a base tag. And we're going to say create. Now, we're going to need to put another XIC for a holding contactor. And I'm going to call this motor 1. And we're going to call that new guy motor 1. Again, global tag. Create. Now, once you name something, you can use it again as many times as you want throughout the whole program. So we are going to make a coil. OTE, Output Energize. That's what OTE stands for. And we're just going to drag this guy, just a name, over here. Because when this guy comes on, anywhere in the program, since it's a global tag, if this Output Energize is on, that tag will be high. Everywhere in the whole program. This can be pretty useful. So, that is basically it. That is all we need to do. We're going to push the start button. The stop button is not going to be pushed. The motor is going to come on, or the contactor is going to come on, coil. And when that comes on, the holding contactor is going to come on. And since the push button is not pressed right now, it is going to hold itself open until the push button is stopped, just like a normal start-stop circuit. So, let's download this guy. And I am using the emulator, so if you can get a hold of this, it's very useful. If not, you could download it into a regular old processor. And I'm using Factory Talk for my HMI here. And that also is just going to be an emulation of Factory Talk. So right now, I'm not using any hardware. You could do this right now in a hotel room, doing this here, just computer on the desk. We're going to download it. To the emulator 
We're going to make it in run load. And we are now in run load. And that's just telling me that I uploaded something. Well, let's make it so we can see everything. When I push the start button, comes on, motor starts running. Why is the motor running? Well, I got some logic in there that's making those lines go up and down, basically. But in real life, the motor would be running because you have a contactor pulled in right here. Now, this normally this would be alias to an output that's going to a coil or whatever it is, the light that you want to turn on. It could be a light, it could be a coil, whatever you're going to use the output for, solenoid. So, I'm going to push the stop button, and it goes off. The motor stops turning. And that pretty much covers it on XICs, XIOs, and OTEs. Uh, I think my next lesson is going to be latches, unlatches. Uh, maybe you guys could tell me what it is that you would like to see. Until next time, I'm Vince Anthony with Anthony Automation in Visalia, California. AnthonyAutomation.com. What, 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 what?